Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back. I am grappling with, I want to say his name is Matt. Forgive me if I am wrong. So we're both on our knees. Here I was going to step in. I was able to, he pulls, oh, and he surprised me with that rubber guard. I didn't know he was going to play that game. I know we, he was, uh, you know, he, he talked about triangles earlier when we were drilling, but I didn't know he was going to be a rubber guard player, even though we are in 10th planet. So, he asked me, I think that's mission control. Experiment out, I was able to get get out, listen, learn. Even though he's going to pull me back in, I know now uh, what his game plan is and I can defend it a little bit better. All right. You can see I'm using my elbow to frame out against him because I know he's trying to pull me down to circle in. I have some more protection so I won't just be sucked in and he can get a good clasp on me. Now I'm working to posture up. And even though, you know, a, a lot of people, I was talking to some people in class afterwards, they were saying that it's not, uh, a rubber guard doesn't, is not that aggressive. It does feel aggressive to me when I'm in someone's rubber guard. And I shoot back for that Ashigurami. Now, what surprised me was, you know, due to his length, he just reached up and around and he was all the way on the other side of my body. <laughs> and I said, oh my goodness, I'm in trouble. You know, um, not often that people reach and they can reach all the way around your side of the body from a leg lock. And so he was immediately able to get out of that pressure that I was trying to exert with that. I decided to skirt around, go to side control and try not to mess around anymore. But then he pulls another trick out of his box of tricks. And you'll see in a second. If any of you guys are familiar with Jeremiah Vance, and his rubber guard, he likes for people to get to side control, or not rubber guard, but side control, and then works a triangle from that position. I realized what was going on as soon as it started to happen, so I wasn't caught up in that web too much. And I, I was not too worried about it because I knew now uh, what that game plan was. I tried to do a knee on belly there. He uh, turned and was able to get his knee. Now he's holding his knee up, putting it on his leg, his other leg to his foot on the other leg to make sure that I'm not able to get an easy entry. Here I'm trying to, to staple up his his body and side control. And then he comes with the other leg. That I, I just knew I could just put my forearm against him and get out of that one. I step up, step away. I was a little hesitant and jumped again. And there he goes with uh, that leg, the rubber guard. Mission control, I believe. All right. If I'm wrong at any time, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. I'm still a work in progress in this new system. Okay. I'm able to get out here. He tried to exert some pressure by putting it. You see he has his uh, hand on his foot. I wasn't too worried about that. Uh, I, I know also that I'm able to frame out. You know, once I'm framing, I know I can break away from uh, things like that, especially if they don't have a good grip from the very beginning. Try for a little guillotine there, press them down. Now I'm trying to figure out how can I work my side control and advance on him without being caught up in his rubber guard. Hopefully in the future, I'll have an opportunity to roll with him a lot more uh, so I can get those looks from you know those especially a taller guy and also someone who really likes to use the rubber guard as their mode of attack and defense he tries to get up I'm holding him uh, to make sure he couldn't get up I take off my shirt for a second because his hands or arms were getting caught up in it we start again as Anthony Basie likes to say once you take your shirt off it's on shout out to Anthony Basie always watching the videos, I appreciate it. Here we go. I think he's going to, oh, he shoots for that triangle and that's when I shoot for my pressure pass and then I just back out, come back in again. I was able to get mount, he slid under me, for, I think going for butterflies and I just slid on top for the mount here. And then now I'm going to go for that knuckle choke you see i have my arm my left arm the crooked elbow around that neck and then i'm going to come in with that right fist 
and push, use my left hand to push on that right fist into his uh, other side, the carotid artery. And a lot of times I can get the tap. Sometimes, you know, guys just resist it and are able to avoid it. Okay, he turns to avoid the pressure and then he turns back to get I think he was going for that Cobra clutch on that side, but I, my legs were too far in. And so he steps in for a butterfly. It's really flexible. And flexibility really, really helps you out in this, uh, the 10th planet system and just grappling in, in, in general. One of the things, you know, that I'm striving to work on, there I go shooting for it again, is to work on my flexibility to improve my game. Thanks, guys, for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.